Welcome to the session. This is Nick, Ryan, and Jess. Today, we will be discussing a lot about school, and as the holiday season comes around, we will be getting into final soon. Oh, I ate too much turkey. Sorry. I just, it really just hit me. Is that your favorite uh, Thanksgiving meal? No, no, it's not, but I ate too much. It you was really good. Much. So now that we're back, we're going to talk about finals. Mm-hmm. Your guys' favorite, favorite time of the year, right? Yeah. Finals. Yeah. It's the favorite time it's, of the year. It's the final countdown. It's final. Oh, <laughs> I could have used that one. Yeah. <laughs> Missed opportunity there. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys talk about? Finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, uh, you know, any... Any semester, I think the most important thing is to kind of finish on a strong note. And you have to kind of go into it. You know, you do your weekly stuff, get through it, whatever. But Mm -hmm. it's when all those tests and the papers get, like, put on. And then it's just, like, a lot of stuff to do. It's when the professor goes, finals are next week. And you're like, what? Yeah, when did this happen? I don't think so. And they're like, yes. Like, oh, no. Panic mode. So when you hear the word finals, what are some tips that you could give out to some freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors? Personally, I don't have a lot of tests that I'm doing this finals. I have a lot of projects I'm doing. So I guess for okay. me and for other people that have more projects than they have actual exams, just break up doing the project into chunks. Even just spend 30 minutes on it one day when you feel like it or when you have new information you want to add on to it. It really saves a lot of time instead of having to do all of them in one night. Yes. You're, you're, you can't do all your projects in one night. I uh, know. And still be alive. Yeah. Nick, are you a test or a projects kind of guy? This time around, I'm a little bit of both. Oh. Um, I'm actually doing an art project for my one science class called Earth and the Cosmos. Wait, you're doing an art project for science? Yeah. So hmm. there was an option to do a creative project. And okay. uh, my, my plans are to do a very um, kind of like detailed uh, acrylic painting and to... Wow. Uh, do it, you know, make it really nice. It takes me a lot of time, but cool. That's cool. my goal. Um, then I obviously have papers and uh, a couple tests. So, so what's the best tip you can give for writing papers? Papers, you know, it's uh, it's really the timing, and I am certainly a procrastinator. But there's a difference between good and bad procrastinating because, you know, when you get into that mode, it starts crunching. That can be beneficial, mm-hmm. it, healthily, obviously. You don't want to cram with like fit five projects, but right. doing one a night. You know, you get into that zone where you start focusing. So I've always used that. And going from that, if you, say, break it down to weeks and you have projects, say, Monday or Tuesday, you know, you can you can schedule it. And you kind of put, like, a pre-planned, like, pressure on yourself. Because let's say you don't hit it by Friday morning, then you have however much deadlines. So really, I'm hearing from both of you in different ways that scheduling your time is very important. Yes. It most definitely is. most definitely. So... If you are struggling, what is the one place on campus you can go to get help? That'd be the library. You can check out the Student Academic Services um, with Lisa Kramer Hancock. Mm-hmm. She is really helpful. Uh, you can also get a lot of SI tutors as well. Uh, I'd highly recommend that for math. SI, what is that? That is the... Uh, Supplemental instruction. There you ah, go. I answered my own question. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, Nick, I really stole your thunder there. Oh, no, you know, I actually forgot what the word was. <laughs> oh, good. Phew. That's good. Uh, you can get tutors to uh, help you. And I was saying math especially. Um, for me, statistics was a little bit difficult to grasp, but you can get people that have learned it and they can teach you it. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're in class, you get bored, tired, whatever, um, long days. Mm-hmm. You get you can lack with that, but just, you know, find those resources um, online. You know, you can look on YouTube, but I would definitely visit the library. Um, that's where you're going to find, you know, your computers, books, all that stuff. I think I forgot what I was going to say. Well, I have something else to add to that. Do, please, because yes. I forgot. <laughs> so, like, in addition to going to the library, a lot of the times, at least for my classes, even just asking, like, hey, if I get such and such component of this project done early, can I have can I have you, professor, can I have you look over to give me any pointers, see if I'm headed in the right direction? A lot of the times, even just because you ask, they'll say yes. Like, I can't give you the answers, but I can tell you if you're going in the right directions or give you suggestions for improvement. Good. So that's another thing that I feel like it'd be really good to take advantage so of. So communicate with your professor. Yes. yes. To build. Um, go ahead. Go, go to, ahead. To build on that, um, I've always found that if someone's reading your paper, if you have any kind of paper, mm-hmm. it helps so much. Um, when I was in high school, my mom would always be looking over my papers. And uh, yeah, I know there's some uh, classes they require students to go get their papers checked, but I would do that like for sure. 
hundred percent. So, and that would be where a tutor would come in. Yeah, yeah. So, un- hopefully, anybody who's been here for this long in the semester knows where the library is and the student success area is. Yes. So, um, check it out. Go there. It's helpful. As promised, though, we have one minute of Nick's moment of call, call to greatness. To greatness. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So at any call to greatness, what I wish is for you to strive to become a better version of yourself. Not striving for perfection because perfection is unachievable, but for personal excellence in however you deem fit. Um, but this week, I would challenge you to find one new thing you can do. Uh, Perhaps this could be doing an extra assignment for a week. It could be saying hi to someone you always see but never talk to. Hi, Jess. Um, Hi, Ryan. Hi. It could even just be supporting the guy on the uh, on on Clinton Street that uh, plays the guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Even just throw him you know a couple coins or get him a jacket, warm meal, whatever. Okay. Um, It's the new things that you do in your life that can have a dramatic impact rather than staying in your your um, your routine. Um, a lot of guys, including myself, are like tree trunks. We don't like to do anything. But um, just do something new. Find something to do, and I think you'll find a lot of success. Break your bubble. <laughs> that, was, that was great. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll add so, that as a sound bit. There you go. So that has been Nick's moment of greatness. Cold. 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 Golly. Golly. <laughs> Lee, 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 Lee. Nick, get us out of here. All right. Have a great day, DC, and good luck with finals. Yeah! Woo!